Hello, Taurus viewers. This is just a quick love reading, just whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out here. Um, I just dyed my hair, so that's why my hands are like this. I'll still be doing my regular monthly, uh, I, I do them every two weeks. So I typically do them on or around the first of the month and on the 15th of the month. So I'll be doing my regular readings as well around the first. Well, this person has a lot to say to you. So we've got part of me just wants to come knock on your door or intentionally uh, bump into you somewhere where I know that you'd be. There's so much that I want to say to you. I'm aware that you're my soulmate or twin flame. You're the one. Gossip and rumors played a role in our separation. I look at your pictures often. Sometimes I cry over you. Okay. I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. I'm afraid that you'll never forgive me. You're so empathetic and kind and thoughtful and it's inspiring me to open up to you. I want to cuddle with you. <laughs> That one fell. You have multiple potential partners. Your energy is magnetic. So it's almost like someone didn't want you to know that. <laughs> Let's see here. It's an interesting energy. Yeah, I feel like this person's on the fence. They've been kind of fighting themselves on this, but it does feel like they do want to reach out. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. You've been showing up in my dreams. I feel like this person is being divinely guided. I'm getting something about the dreams here, too. I feel like they're being divinely led to come back to you. They might be having dreams about it. I feel like they might be having dreams that are triggering them as well and making them feel like they might lose you or they're just having dreams about the future with you. I just feel like there's something, something about dreams here or someone's being... Um, guided to come back soon before you move on it says i'm afraid you've moved on by now and i looked for love in all the wrong places you know because your spirit guides it, it's like this person's spirit guides don't or they their spirit i should say um you know they don't want you to move on from this they don't want you to they don't want to end up with the wrong person and they don't want you to end up with the wrong person either i'm jealous i'm afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating somebody else I want to take things slow and get to know you better. I want to fix this, but I'm not sure where to start. I can't figure out who I am or what I want. My life is busy and chaotic. I feel numb. I feel like I'm running on autopilot. I'm intentionally telepathically communicating with you. I'm trying to manifest our reunion. And I'm working hard to remove all the obstacles that have been keeping us apart. I'm trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation. I'm drained and distracted. I feel like this person's just really busy right now. Like, I feel like I don't think it's personal. I just think they have a lot going on right now. Um, but I think they are thinking about you. I think they are missing the connection. I'm being watched. I want to reach out, but there's people around me. I need you to help me understand. I thought I could find clarity alone, but I can't, and I need answers. For some, you might have told them that this was like a twin flame or a soulmate connection, but they didn't understand what that was and now it's like they're wanting that clarity they're wanting to understand 
I feel like there's something that you're very knowledgeable about that they're not, that they don't know very much about, and they're wanting you to kind of be a guide for them. Like they're wanting you to teach them certain things, like maybe about twin flames or soulmates or, you know, energy work or psychic work, something. I think it's be something spiritual of nature is kind of the energy I'm getting. I love you. I'm trying to get my life together so I can come back to you with a stable love offer. And I can't handle being apart from you any longer. And I've thought about going on vacation with you. Yeah, I feel like this. I'm getting a very spiritual energy with this with this group. I feel like there's. I feel like there's a lot going on behind the scenes. I feel like you guys are really telepathically connecting right now. Um, I'm really getting the sense too that. Like they want to come back around, they want to bump into you. I just feel like there's there's something that they're in their head about. There's something that they don't understand. And I feel like it has to do, it might be something that you said, but I'm getting it has to do with spirituality. Like it might be about like twin flames or soulmates or just certain things. It's it's like there's something about your connection that they're trying to to wrap their head around. They're trying to how do I explain it? Like I feel like they're this person's kind of So I could just keep getting like a spiritual energy and I almost feel like this person's maybe trying to find the meaning of life or they're trying to, it's like they're trying to understand twin flames or, or soulmates or, uh, you know, witchcraft, spiritual work, energy work, psychic work, that kind of thing. It's like, there's something that they're in their head about. And I feel like they're trying to delay this until they've figured this out. It's like, they're in their head trying to understand something, but I think they're just kind of going in circles. Like they don't really have that clarity, but it's, it's almost like they're trying to have a firm grasp on everything before they come forward. It might be something about the connection too, where they feel like they have to, like they're trying to test something. It's almost like they're trying to test destiny. Does that make sense? It's, it's, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to word this energy that I'm feeling. Does, does that make sense to any of you guys that are watching this? Like, cause I'm trying to, it's a really interest. It's a really unique energy that I'm picking up for this energy group. It's, it's like, they're trying to it, it's like they're trying to figure out I feel like some I feel like they're opening up spiritually like they're opening up psychically and I feel like they're trying to test certain things um I think we got a card didn't we get a card too that was where was that card I'm intentionally telepathically communicating with you and trying to manifest our reunion so that could be what they're testing for some of you they want to see they're opening their mind up. maybe this was someone that was more logical in the past and they didn't really fully believe in this stuff but it's like now they they want to see if, you know, the, you know, uh, law of attraction works. They want to see if manifestation works. They want to see if you can feel them telepathically communicating with you. It might be one of those things where they're actually meditating and they're trying to send you certain messages. And then they want to see if you like post something on social media or whatnot that correlates with that message that they were telepathically sending you. It's like they're trying to test because I feel like they're opening up to the possibility that, you know, psychics are real and, and all, you know, energy is real, that all these, all these different, you know, spiritual concepts are real, but they want to make sure that they have proof. So I feel like they're trying to find that proof right now. I hope that makes sense. Um, as always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And that email is right below in the description box. So thank you guys for watching.